is the main important thing, exactly correct. And this is everything that I want you guys to understand about this. This is all about applying information. You guys have the information. The information is actually already written here. So the difficult thing is, all right, now I need to apply the information that I have. Marissa, this is like the third time. So we need to apply this information. Now, if you guys notice over here, what we have is, so we need to figure out what the root power is, or what the root is, as well as what power are we raising our radicand to. So what I can do is to help me figure this out, I can say that this is really the square root, so there's really a two there. And then what power am I raising 5y to? Yeah. One. It wouldn't be zero because remember, anything to the zero power is just going to be one. So it's really 5y raised to the first power. So therefore, if I was going to rewrite it using this rule, it's simply just going to be 5y raised to the 1 half power. Now, one of the most common mistakes that students make is 5y to the 1 half power. But just you have to have that parenthesis because you're taking the square root of 5 and y, right? Yes? So remember, you're taking, you're, so taking the square root of 5 and y has to be represented as take 5 and y being raised to the 1 half power. If you wrote it like this, this just says y to the 1 half power times 5. Do you guys see the difference? You're taking the square root of 5 and y. So you have to raise 5 and y to the 1 half power. If you wrote it like this, this just says 5 times y to the 1 half power. <coughs> so that's why the parentheses are so important. OK? For Tansy, Julio, you're not trying these out. <laughs>